Okay, take one of the Crab Nebula M1 in the Constellation Taurus, magnitude 8.4. We're looking at it through a Takahashi Milan 250 telescope, running at f9.2. Magnification is about 90 power. Seeing it with the aid of a Gen 3 thin film image intensifier plugged into the telescope. And on the back end, there's a Sony A7S camera recording at 1 15th of a second shutter. 12,800 ISO, so that's 15 frames per second in high def. And you've got the general layout of the crab, kind of like, uh, looks like two ovals stuck together maybe, or something like that. Um, fair bit of scintillation noise at ISO 12,800. And the f9.2 on the scope kind of makes the intensifier work harder than it might want to. I do not have a 12 nanometer H alpha filter here. This is just straight through, no filter. Kind of surprised I get as much detail as I get. Uh, it's about 45 degrees off the horizon, the position of uh, the nebula right now. So maybe not the most optimal position, but uh, it's pretty dark at the moment, so I'd say it's reasonable. Uh, what else can we say? This is classified as a diffused nebula. It's actually an exploded star, which blew up in AD 1054, as I remember. That's what caused this, a supernova. But there you have the crab in Taurus, 45 degrees off the horizon, uh, as seen by a Gen 3 image intensifier and a Mulan 250 telescope. So, and we're shooting it from Mount Pinos, California. And it's like 3 o'clock in the morning. What am I doing up this late? Alrighty, that's a wrap on that guy. M1, Taurus Crab Nebula.